welcome to my channel so I'm an idiot and forgot to turn on my mic so this is my monthly favorites and empties for the month I know it's late but stay tuned and find out what is in today's video Like I said in the intro, today is the monthly favorites and empties. If you like this kind of content, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, ring that bell so that you're notified every single time I upload a video. So we're going to get into it and there's a few items today. We're going to start off with the empties and then move to the favorites. And the first item that I'm going to be showing is shower gels. Both of these came from BoxyCharms. And this one is Rituals. It's supposed to be like a vanilla cherry blossom scented foaming cleanser. And I did not really like it that much. I didn't like it as a cleanser, so I tried to use it as a shave foam. And it just would not stay lathered very well, so I don't like it, and I won't be repurchasing it. And it's a little not what it advertises to be in scent. So definitely won't repurchase, didn't like it, and that's about all about that. But apparently I keep talking about it for a second. And then I move into the... Skin and Coroma, the Sardinia Spirit Body Wash. It's a shower gel. It was okay. Um, it's a shower gel. There's nothing fantastic about it. But the scent is a little strong. It definitely smells of lemon instead of like having any kind of floral scent to it. And it was kind of a big turnoff for me, so I won't repurchase this one either. Moving on to a product that I really enjoy and have repurchased and finished. This one is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. It is one of my favorites. I absolutely love it. And as you can tell, it is completely empty. But I do have another one that I'm using right now. It is a great lotion. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. And it is one of my complete favorites. Like the scent is amazing. It lasts for a long time, but it's not overwhelming, which is a great thing. So I really, really like that. And then I'm going to move on into actual makeup. So the first thing is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation. Um, that is in light. It is one of my favorites. Um, I'm actually wearing it today, um, not from that one, but from my backup, of course, but it is great. It stays in place. It doesn't crack very easily. It's very good for oily skin, so it's a favorite. Moving on to another favorite that everybody knows is my e.l.f. Lifted Brow Pencil. That is in the shade Taupe. It is my absolute favorite. I wasn't expecting to run out of this one, but it happened to break and fall on the floor. Luckily, I had a backup, but I'm going to have to repurchase some very, very soon because I actually wear it every day. And then on to my next one, and it is the MAC 6 Plus in matte. I actually use it as a setting spray. I'll use another Fix Plus to kind of set all the powder on my face and then I'll use this as a setting spray. It's very nice. It has a good scent. It doesn't get powdery on the skin. It doesn't make you look cakey so it's very good. I have another one. I love it. will continue to use. And then now we're going to move into the monthly favorites. There's just a few this month. Not a whole lot. But it's all makeup and it's all great. So I'm going to start off with the first one, which is the Farsali Skin Tube Primer. I got this in a boxy charm, I want to say, but hey, you know. Anyway, it really is a good primer. It fills in a lot of the stuff right around my nose. It fills in my fine lines on my forehead. 
and it doesn't peel, dries down very well, and it wears beautifully. So I really like that one. If it was in a plump, it'd be better. I'm not a huge dropper person, but hey, it is what it is. And now we're going to move in to more eyeshadow palettes. I actually have two this month. And the first one is my Kaleidos Sci-Fi Greens palette. It is absolutely a gorgeous palette. It has four mattes and two shimmers in that gorgeous color scheme and it blends out beautifully. No problems. Like the shimmers are stand out. They are gorgeous. And all in all, wonderful palette. I absolutely love it. It's great. Doesn't crack, doesn't crease. It's beautiful. Now the next one's controversial, I know, but it's Jeffree Star's Orgy palette. And that palette is the actual all matte palette. I'm not a big fan of the mini palette. There are some problematic shades in there. One, there's a couple that are really hard pressed and it's very hard to get the pigment out and put it on your I, some of them are beautiful. Some of them have very little back pigment, so they don't really sparkle the way you want it to. It's okay. Not one of his best projects, but I absolutely love the mattes palette. It's a great neutrals palette. Um, I actually used this in my palette of the week last week, so you can go over to Instagram and see what looks like I came up with. They blend out beautifully. It's wonderful for people that love neutral looks because it's all neutrals. I usually go for like blacks and greens, but when I do do neutrals for work, this is definitely the palette that I reach for. It's very easy to use and very easy to blend, but it's a great palette nonetheless. Now then, I'm moving on to the next item which is blush and it's the Kaleidos Lo-Fi Blush Duo. So there is a matte blush and then a blush topper. They are beautiful on the skin. The blush topper is very sheer so you can wear it on its own for like a glowy blush or you put it over the top. They blend in very easily. They don't look stand out. You can build it up for a better look. Whatever you want to do but it's a great beautiful blush. And then finally I'm moving on to lipstick which is a Velour Liquid Lipstick by Jeffree Star in Androgyny. It's what I have on my lips today and it is a great look for neutrals. It's that great mauve cool tone kind of pink color. It's a very good color and plus I love Jeffree Star's eyeshadow lipsticks they stay forever and it's great so that is my monthly empties and favorites for the month i know it's not a lot but hey it is what it is so if you have any questions comments concerns or issues leave them down in the comment section down below plus let me know what were your favorites and empties of the month and then also if you could, it would be great, but there are four ways to support the channel in the description box down below. It's Patreon, PayPal, Minds, and Cash App, and if you can, again, please do, and all my social media will be linked down below. Well, that's, that's going to do it for today's video, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.